welcome to today's amazing event, celebrating two years with the community. We launched back in 2020, bring together community leaders for a little mini wellness retreat because we are here today to celebrate Find Calm here and hopefully you can find some calm today, learn a little bit and enjoy meeting maybe some new people today. We've got some new people registered that aren't members of the community. So the members that are in the room here, please welcome the people here in our small community during this session. Feel free to ask questions in the chat. I launched this thing. I had great ideas and great intentions for it. And then it didn't end up being something that was financially successful. I had a four hour virtual summit with 15 speakers on Crowdcast. I like to do things to the, to the nines basically. And I didn't have any paid members after that launch. And the next day after that, I went and sat in a park and I was upset and I just laid there and was crying. I was just upset about like my life. I was like, what am I going to do next? And at the end of that, after like the next couple of weeks and, and months, people reached out to me and said they didn't know I failed. They didn't know anything about the background. They just saw me massively going out and sharing my message and, and seeing that I was really passionate. And they said, Deb, I want you to help me. Can you help me with my, I have an idea for an online community. And that's where I started to build a consulting business. Carol and Ani and a couple other people know how hard I work to try to figure out how to keep doing this thing called community because I realized that this business, and this industry that I joined in 2020 was such a massive, amazing experience for me to be a community leader and bring others together online because it's just, it's just massively crazy how you can meet people on a Zoom call and never meet them in real life and they can be, become your best friends. And Carol and Ani and, and so many other people are that way. I keep pointing them out because they're like right in front of my screen. <laughs> and they were here from like day one. They were here before day one. And we met, what happened was is the, the Find Calm Here community moved from a wellness community to a community for community leaders. And I actually led what was then called the Mighty Mastermind. After six months, we had met every week to talk about community building. How do we make this community thing happen? How do we, how do we bring people together? How do we create ex engagement? How do we have great experiences? And through that whole journey over six months from June, and we met every week in, until December of 2020 with community leaders. And that experience allowed me to realize and understand the challenge that others have, not just the challenges I had, but the challenge that others have, and that they have such a great message. And they just get stuck in the tech of everything. They get stuck in just a million things, the setup or you know what my message is, who I bring together, why and what the value is in that, and how you can charge for it, how you can ask people to give their hard-earned money to be a part of this. And so I launched the Mighty Mastermind in January officially. We had that was a was a really great success. I learned so much from that that we built what is called now the growth seats that we each got to present our community ideas and our structures. And from that experience, I learned so much more about community on top of the fact that I had been a community manager, a community leader. This whole journey now has come around to say that Community leaders know that it's important to support each other. And that's what we do inside the Find Calm Here community. What we know as a community leader is it's about the connection and the community itself. And the people that we bring together inside the community during the book clubs, during the accountability calls, and all the other events that we're going to start doing live interviews every month. Um, we all have a mission and a message that we want to share. And we know that we want to hold space for people so they can be seen, valued, and heard. 